Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number one in the directory traversal module titled File Path Traversal Simple Case. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product images. To solve the lab, retrieve the contents of the etc passwd file. All right, so the target goal over here is to exploit the file path traversal vulnerability and retrieve the contents of this file. Okay, let's get started. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already getting intercepted in Burp. All right, so while the application is loading, notice over here it loads a bunch of images. And these images are likely taken from some kind of folder on the backend server that is hosting this application. And so this is your first indication that you should definitely be testing for path traversal vulnerabilities or local file inclusion vulnerabilities or even remote file inclusion vulnerabilities. And so the first thing that we're gonna test for is path traversal. So let's send this to repeater. And then I'm going to move this right over here and hit send. Now over here, the response is a 200 OK response, and it displays the content of the image that is in this JPEG file, so the 65.jpg file. Now, if this is vulnerable to path traversal, we should be able to view the contents of other files on the server. However, something to keep in mind is that we're only able to view contents of uh, files that are readable by the privileges that this application is running as. And usually applications are not run with root privileges because that would be really bad. Um, that means we could read any file on the system, including sensitive files that could have hashed passwords. However, in most cases, it's only run with some kind of Web Damien user that has uh, very limited privileges. And so to test for path traversal, what we're going to do is we're going to try and access a world readable file. So it's accessible by anyone that has access to the server. And that file is going to be the passwd file. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to see if it accepts absolute paths. So we'll say etc and then passwd. Hit send. And it says no such file. Now, um, if it doesn't accept absolute paths, it starts with the folder that the JPEG image was in. That means we need to try and get out of the folder. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add dot 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 slash to try and get out of the directory that we're in. And I'll explain that in a bit. Let's put four just in case. Okay, so the reason I added the dot dot slash is because chances are the JPEG image is retrieved from a folder that is similar to this one. So var dub 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 slash images, and then we had the 65.jpg image. Now, whenever I enter a file over here, so let's say the passwd file, it'll look for the passwd file in this directory. So var dub 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 images and then etc slash passwd which it does not exist in this directory this exists in the root directory so what we're going to do is instead of doing that we're going to add this comment over here so what that means is get out of the current directory which is the images directory and then add another one which says go to the parent directory which is the dub dub directory and then we're going to add another one and so it's going to say get out of the var directory and so it ends up with just the root directory and then the etc folder and then the passwd file and so essentially what you could do is instead of just assuming that it's three directories up you could add the dot dot slash characters as many times as you want to ensure that you actually get to the root directory so if we hit send right over here you could see it solves the exercise. It says, congratulations, you solved the exercise. And it dumps the content of the etc passwd file. So um, again, I mentioned if you're not sure if, if it's three directories up, what you could do is just add a whole lot of other move up to the parent directory and it should still work because eventually it'll only get to the root directory and then it'll look for um, this specific path. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting the path traversal vulnerability. Now let's script it in Python. 
If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.